morning. Just dropped off Johanna at daycare and picked up some tea for myself. And I wanted to take an opportunity today, while Diana and Wesley are still sleeping, uh, to talk about one of my camera bags, actually. It's this one that I'm currently wearing. The Ona Union Street. Uh, really nice little bag. Carries tons of stuff. It's not their most expensive bag that they make, but it's, and not the biggest, but it's nicely in the middle. It's not the most expensive. It's not the smallest, least expensive that they make. It's just right in the middle, and it's a beautiful bag for everyday use for me. And uh, let's talk about some of the uh, things about it. Alrighty? Okay, so as you saw, I just put away my sunglasses here. It's got a pocket on each side. On the other side, I've got my little Manfrotto Pixie tripod. Absolutely love these things. These things are invaluable for everyday carry. They're tiny, they hold a ton. I've actually supported my Pentax 67 with it. it. It's insane how much weight it holds. Um, super well built, great little tripod. Oh, uh, it's got the traditional back pocket for holding magazines or paper or whatever. Flashlight, knee brace for me. Front zipper pocket, uh, just under the flap. It holds things such as my electrical tape for the uh, film that I mark that I've talked about in previous episodes. Uh, cables for a uh, charging my various devices. Uh, spare battery, which is in here. We'll get to that in a minute. Filters. There are several filters in here. My Leica M2 with the Sumicron dual range that I have recently acquired. I sold my Zeiss 50F2 planar in favor of this one. Really nice lens. Uh, my little go everywhere, do everything uh, digital camera, the little Panasonic GX7 with the 15 millimeter 1.7 uh, Leica Sumilux. It's a fantastic little uh, lens just for everyday use. It's a little wider than what I'm normally liking, but I love the size of it. I love the image quality of it. Uh, the little Panasonic GX7, older now, but I absolutely love it. It's so compact. Spare batteries for the uh, GX. Little thing I made just the other day. Uh, it holds the goggles for the dual range. It's just two film canisters. I sanded off the bottom of one of them and then uh, have taped them together so it holds the goggles nicely. Filter pouch. Uh, that holds various step rings as well as uh, things such as my variable neutral density for the video. polarizer, and mostly step rings from there. So that is what, ooh, lost that again. Um, This is, I have my compartment laid out so that way, uh, this is underneath the two cameras and this is what the cameras are sitting on top of. I don't know if that's a good way of doing it, especially expe given how expensive the uh, B plus W variable alphabet soup. What the hell is this thing called? 
XS Pro ND Vario 1 to 5 MRC Nano. This is a really expensive little piece of glass. I probably shouldn't be resting the Leica on top of it, but I do. What are you gonna do? Color contrast filters for um, black and white. So for the uh, dual range here, orange, yellow, red, a two stop neutral density. That's under there. So that's it for that main compartment. I've got my 90 F4 uh, Minolta uh, in Leica M mount. Another filter for the dual range. My Zeiss 35 2.8 C Biogon. Another fantastic little lens. That's insanely sharp. Little pouch that I've uh, been carrying for a number of years now uh, from one of my other low pro bags. Uh, eye drops, lip balm, multi tool, spare change for in case I ever need parking, spare battery for most of my film cameras. That takes the uh, two of the little. LR44s or anything like that. So this is one 2L76. It's a single battery, but it fits my F3, my OM4, various other cameras that I have. A uh, little screwdriver, pens, that sort of thing. So that sits underneath these. And then I have that spare battery for the uh, charger for my devices my box of film from Japan Camera Hunter, complete with some uh, embellishment from Shoot Film Co. And this still has room, tablet section, which actually holds my 12.9 uh, iPad Pro. And this actually holds it all very nicely. Now, sure, it's probably pretty weighty for some people, but I'm not your average small person. So I did weigh this a little while ago and I forget what it came up to. If I remember, I'll put that here. So everything has its place. Let's put the expensive one under the lighter camera. I just have the uh, internal pockets just laid out the way that seems to make sense for me. So when I swing the camera around, the two cameras are actually what's right here on the edge because you saw how I was holding it and I swung it around this way. So when I swing it around, the first things I have access to, my sunglasses case, my Leica, and the little Panasonic. And those are what makes sense to me as being what I need access to the most. And then the spare lenses from there, um, it's kind of secondary, but being able to have access to all of that is the utmost importance for me. This is a nice little canvas bag. It's got some good leather clasps on it and stuff like that. It's very well built, very solid, very pricey for, for what you're getting. Um, I personally have no complaints about what I paid for it. Um, I did get it on the secondhand market. So somebody who owned it, maybe thought it was too nice for them. I don't know why they got rid of it. I saw it, it was a good deal. I got it. It's got a nice solid leather patch here on the bottom uh, to make it a little bit more rugged. Now, one thing 
you may have noticed here was that it has these flaps on the side and if you stick them out it looks weird but that apparently helps make it a little bit more weather resistant when it's raining but because it is canvas i got caught out in the rain a little while ago and this thing's just like a sponge it just soaked up the water so we're going to be doing a follow-up video here soon about this one and i'm actually going to be waxing this one i've done some research i think i found the recipe that works for me and because i do like using this as an everyday bag and i do live in what we lovingly call rain coover it rains here a lot throughout the winter spring fall uh, even the summer it, it's been a pretty pretty horrendous summer uh, for rain it's rained a lot so i want to protect this bag for that everyday use because i do take transit a good chunk of the time going to work i get caught out in the rain it's as simple as that i want to protect what's inside my bag by weatherproofing this bag so we're going to be doing another follow-up video and another bag um, that i have for my system here that i really want to also weatherproof it, it's a a much smaller bag it's kind of more of a go bag for my days off it just literally holds the like a a couple lenses that's it end of list film uh, it doesn't hold anything else it's not designed to be big uh, but it, it's a perfect weekend bag for me if i'm just going out to the park with the kids or something like that or whatever you know barbecue with friends family it's a perfect little bag for that and that's the m classics bag and we'll be touching with that one on another video before we get to the waxing part because uh, i do want to wax before the summer ends here and uh, we'll get to that but thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one how are you enjoying the monochrome i want to know <laughs>